And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and we're pretty much geared up as much as we can be. From what I believe, we've got our herbs and our key, we've got our gear, we've got about two to three slots of inventory, give or take. And now we'll be heading kind of back the way we came to that swamp cave, which was the cave that was in the poison. I was corrected by a friend of mine. I was telling him, he's asking, what Let's Play are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm doing Dragon Quest. And he knows he knows the Dragon Quest games pretty well, too, especially the older ones. And uh, he made a comment uh, to me when I mentioned, yeah, I think they added more key, key carver, like magic key sales and dude, key carvers or whatever you want to call them. And he's like, no, no, they, I don't, he's like, I don't think that, that they did in the Super Famicom one. And I'm like, eh, there's one in the castle once you get a key to get through and he goes well yeah that one's always been there and i'm like oh he's like yeah he, he he joked he said i think you're thinking of the merchant that they added in one of the towns because there's no item shop in one of the towns as you traverse through the game and I'm like, Ooh. that makes a lot more sense i knew they added some merchant somewhere and i for some reason just brain farted and assumed that was the one Alas, I'm wrong. I should be ashamed. Um, so anywho, jokes aside, we've got plenty of healing items. We've got MP to go. We're as geared up as really one can be, as we're now going to head into this cave to do what's actually meant to be done in this cave, other than, you know, me being a jackass and wandering, using it as a means to gain XP and whatnot. The first thing we're going to do is use Radiant so we can see where the hell we're going. And pretty much what we want to do is kind of just head here and go down. And we're looking for a big door. And we're going to prep a little bit before we get to that big, said big door. But we, we ultimately want to, we're, we're looking for a big door. We can't miss it. I still feel like I'm going the wrong way. I am going the wrong way. That's the giant door. We have business at that door. That we need to deal with, but we cannot deal with until I get to the door. And then we'll use any healing herbs we have to heal up the rest of the way. Because we took damage from the the uh, swamp trying to get trying to get in here. So, yay. There we go. We have mage. Okay, that's good. And now we face a dragon. All that we really can do to him is just smash or smack him with our weapon. There's not much we can do at other than that, so we may as well just whack away on him. And I'd say if you hit about 30 health or so, you're going to want to heal. Um, so let's go ahead and use a healing spell. We'll use one more. There we go. This is the real, our first real boss fight of the game. Heal. through our MP something hard here. Yeah, they're attacking this fireball, but he keeps using fucking fireball. You don't know if we're going to get our turn first or if he's going to get our, his turn first, too. Even that makes it trickier. And there he goes. He's down. Nice. We need to use this bed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Oh, at last, a valiant hero. My name is Laura. I am the princess of Ratatome. If you had princess of Ratatome. I, I, if you had not come for me someday, I would have become King Dragon's bride. Oh, how I shudder at the thought. Fucker, since you rescued me, would you please escort me back to the castle? Yes. You pick up the princess. Oh, fucker, we'll be so happy together. Oh, yeah, give me some of that tongue, baby. Slurp. <laughs> and look at that little animation. He's carrying her. What a charming hero. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here before it gets weirder. Um, I think we can use that side. I don't care what side it takes us out, because either side will get us in the right direction here. Before we go too far... I had mentioned earlier that we used a our, we used a Camaro wing, and I'm gonna use not use one, but we're definitely replace the one that we used earlier. Because why? Because I said so. And we'll have to use the magic key, I believe, to get to the area where it can do that. No, I'm gonna double check something. I think we had access to that area the whole time, and I was just being a dumbass, which is occasional or frequent, depending on how you feel about the situation. So many magic keys though, I don't want to save I need to save my time here. It looks like we could have gotten through here anytime, so oh well. We just gotta go all the way around the town to get over here. Which is kind of a load of ass. You ass. If you ask me. <laughs> ask me. Alright. Um we're gonna buy two Camaro wings. Check. I don't know if these are stackable or not. Yeah, these are not, strangely enough. That's going to be one to get us back to uh, town. Right, and that way we can dick around with some other things going forward. Alright. Item. Wing of, a wing of the Chimera. And up, up, and a holy way we go. Let's heal ourselves up. This healing's your friend. Heal all the way up. I, for the usual reasons, of course. Let's grab some... Let's fill up our inventory of keys, but first let's talk to the king. Fucker, well, you've returned from rescuing the princess. I wish to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Laura, come now to my side. Please, take this. Laura hands you took it of her love, the princess's love. I love you, fucker. This is my love. Please accept it. Even if we're separated, my heart will always be with you. Now then, fucker. Even if we're separated, I will always be with you. Fucker, I will continue to support you. Mwah. Aww, yeah. All right, so we get her uh, Princess's Love, which tells us, I believe it'll tell us what, what our two next level is, no matter where we are. Yep, 434. I hope that you're safe. Poor fucker. <laughs> Whoops. All right, translation error. Um, now, before we save with the king, let's go and recover our MP first. Because um, I would hate to not have full, you know, full MP. After just healing myself up. Alright. Chase the healing. We're gonna move up and over here, and we're gonna knock a few things out that we can finally do. Yay! The first things first, like I said, we're gonna save, because saving's our friend. Record the journey. Alright, so now we're gonna head south. Get 
up and around. Fill up on our keys as much as we can. It's always a good thing. Fill up. Come down here. What do we got here? Well, it's something that's relevant. Wolfworker, I was told that someday a young descendant of Roto would visit. Long ago, my ancestors were entrusted with this treasure chest. It contains the Stones of Sunlight from the legendary hero Roto. This item is necessary if you're going to defeat the King of Th the King Dragon. Now then, open the treasure chest. Open it, we shall. But you found the Stones of Sunlight. Ooh. Too bad we don't really need them right now. As much as we'll need them later, fucker. I pray for the time that you once again return the le this the light light to this lane. Now I've kept and protected the stones of sunlight for a long time. I'm now feeling a little tired. I'm going to lay down and rest. And he just dies. And as he slowly makes his way over to get some delicious sleep, as we're gonna loot his shit because fuck this guy. And we find a life nut. Oh, what? What am I holding on to? Uh, let's just dump the medical herbs. I'm gonna have to throw them all away, aren't I? Yup. They're so cheap, I don't really care. We've been relying more on our MP than we have been on these medical herbs. Yeah, I'll just use them too. That's just as quick. And then the idea is that we're gonna. There's a storage available and we're gonna have to exploit the hell out of that as well. We the other thing too is I'm not that big of a stickler for knowing what what's my two next level. Unless I'm doing a grinding session and if we're doing a grinding session we can always come back to the castle for that driving that that grinding session driving session grinding session um so alas we don't need to dick around with that too with the princess's love item too much i will say so we're gonna deposit both of those because we need we need room so let's deposit some items um the stones of sunlight And definitely the princess's love. And that should give us enough room for right now. You know what? I'm gonna burn a key. I don't think we came in here. We'll replace the key. According to the ancient text, fairies know how to put the golem to sleep. I don't know if this is a mysterious power that actually existed. In other words, it's a little shit. All right. So we've gotten one of the major items of the game. Yay. Um, with that said, let's go back to the castle, replenish our key stock. I just would rather have maximum keys because you never know when you got to backtrack and redo something. You don't want to have to go all the way back to this town or to the other town, if you're depending on what's closer, um, in order to restock on keys. So I'd rather just have a full assortment of keys. You know, it's not like we're hurting for cash right now. And then Maxis is out there. Okay. So, where do we go from here? Well, strangely enough, we're going to need to go all the way, kind of back the way that we came. I know, it's frustrating. We were just over there. Well, now we're going over there again. Because we've we've geared up, we've saved the princess... And now we need the like the gear of legend, so to speak. And we're not gonna get that gear of legend standing around with thumbs up our ass. So now we can go and pursue that. And it shouldn't be too difficult. Annoying, yes, not too difficult. Okay, as we come back to this town, if you guys remember earlier, we were told the magic the, the, the silver loot was here. 
Magic loot, silver loot, whatever. Loot, L-U-T-E, you know, like the thing with the strings? I had to explain that to somebody recently. Like, you mean like items? And I'm like, no, loot, like the instrument. And they're like, yeah, like items. And I'm like, no, like the musical instrument. There's, there's an instrument called a loot, and I'm like, kill me now. I believe, there we go. Return from the grave of Garai with your life if you can. <clears throat> if you wish to die, then by all means, step forth. Yeah. <coughs> you guys knew me, I'm a glutton for punishment. So, of course, Radiant. Yay. Oh, boy. Let's get to it. Go this way through. And roll is down. You can see good stuff over there. We'll be aquasizing shortly. Metro Ghost. He's a Metro Ghost Jewel. <laughs> I'm a monster. Ah, what have I done wrong? Oh wait, we gotta go up that way. Sitting here going, am I? Did I go the wrong way? And I didn't realize it. What have I done wrong? What have I done? What have I done? Luckily, nothing. We are going the right way. And wizards down. Nut of life. Some cash. And a magic key. Right away, let's use that nut of life. Okay, better than swift kick to the nuts. Now, from here, we just need to go all the way, kind of, to the far south wall here. There's so many enemies. Let's keep moving. Here's where we want to be. Open says me. Fight. Okay, let's go up and over. go. Alright, it's a lot of wrong ways to go, so you gotta be careful around here. And it's, in other words, there's a lot of false stairs that kind of lead you to dead ends on this floor, and then there's some that lead you to treasure, so enjoy those. The other ones do not. I believe this is one. Hmm. 
hit me. And we leveled. Learn return. Sweet. Metalord. Did I say Metalord? Metalord. Resources to find a whole lot of nothing. So, as far as I'm concerned, that that's my key to get the hell out of Dodge. We found a gold, a chest full of gold. We'll leave it at that. Am I gonna find every chest in this game? Eh, probably not. Not really a reason necessarily to do so, especially if it's something like gold. You can just grind gold. Really. So it's nice getting large chunks of gold out the gate, but. At the cost of what, you have to ask yourself. Wolf mammal. Because there's wolf amphibians, right? A big dick. All right. Okay. Let's go. This is back the way we came. Starting to heal themselves now. Nice. Let's go ahead and go this way. Silver harp is ours. Yar. Okay, now. I'm still pretty good on stats and everything. Keep moving. to leave here in a little bit i think we're okay for now because we could get at least one one or two more treasures i haven't decided yet but for the most part may as well since we're still here
bashing of monsters here. Mammals. We can't seem to get out of here. There we go. And he's down. coming in from a different area. Ooh, that could have been bad. He, sleep, he put us to sleep. Luckily, we woke up. Alright, we'll get out. Because why not? Because we soar all the way back to town. We still have the wings of Chimera on us. We can recover our magic rings, which we should do. Our magic keys, rather. We're never done with those. At least not at the moment. <laughs> we'll get the magic keys. We're all healed up. 84 health. Nice. Shine the light upon thee. Sweet. We'll go through here and replenish our key supply. It is key that we we replenish our supply of, ma of magic keys. So we're relatively geared up. Uh, hmm. Let me think here. Let's go ahead and let's save because we haven't done that in a while. We should. We should definitely save. Now that we have the, the, the silver heart. And there's some stuff that we want to take care of before this episode's over. That way we, you guys kind of get the most out of this, uh, this experience here. We should be at, what, level 13-ish? Yeah, level 13. Okay. So here's what we need to do. Here's what I'm going to do, rather, is let's go ahead and let's keep moving through. Let's keep progressing through the game a little bit further. There's a few things we can still do that are not too outside the box here. We'll, we'll get one of the other mystical items now that we have the heart. We were, you know, and then we're gonna we're almost to seven seven k. To be honest with you, um, 
which is really good because that means we can buy the magic armor soon and should because currently that from based on the place we've been it's the best armor that one can buy so buy, the buying of such armor would be great you just have to go back to that what was it Ramalar Ramaldar or whatever where the magic key sales dude is and they had it there and then we'll be able to pick it up. The enemies... But we're not going to go right there yet, because there's still more crap we need to do. It'll all make sense in due course. towards that town uh what is it coal village but before we go all the way up we're gonna book it to the left here this little area here fight this dude and again talking to the people in town kind of gives you the idea of where and where you need to go so there's not much it's not like random random but it, it's vague but we're it's kind of vague where you need to go but most of it is pretty self-explanatory As we will head up. Almost there. We were told about this shrine. And the dude in town who mentioned the, the silver harp. Taking the silver harp here. It's another one of these dudes. Fucker, I want to test your strength. Somewhere in this land is a silver harp. Which can attract monsters when you retrieve it. When you retrieve and bring... When you retrieve and bring back that item... I recognize you as a true hero. I'll reward you with the Staff of Rain, huh? Wow, you obtained the Silver Harp, fucker. I have waited a long time for the arrival of someone such as you. Open the treasure. And there's the Rain Cloud Staff. Yay! Fucker obtained the Rain Cloud Staff. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Alright. Now, you might say, hey, let's just warp back right now. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to go back to... Rumaladur Town, because like I said, or whatever the fuck town that's called, because I want to get me that magic armor. We're so close to affording, I think it's 7,700, so we're about a thousand away, and that's, down there, that's chunk change. It'll take like 20 minutes to get that gold together. We also might want to take some healing items with us, because we're finally going to get a little further out than normal, um, with what's coming up, you know, along, you know, along the way and all of that. And just making sure that we're jacked up, jacked, geared up enough, so to speak, is probably in our best interest, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I'll give you an idea of where we're going to go to do some of that, because we could also gain a few levels pretty easily, too. Being as strong as we are, being as strong as we are, um, we can gain at least two, three levels. Um, because where we're going, if we go just south of there, there's an island with a bridge. And uh, there's some good enemies there to uh, to grind off of. And once we have that armor, it's not going to be an issue grinding there. Grinding there will be a thing of the past. So anyway, it is a, the reason why it's worth heading down there. And we can stock up on a ton of uh, gold as well. So hence why it's worth the effort to, to make this journey. On top of the fact that we're pretty loaded up on cash, too. So, you know, just saying. Kind of a good idea. And as I said, you know, it's just one of those things you want to make sure that you're, you're ready to deal with. You know what? Actually, I made... How much inventory space do we have? Before we go do that... Yeah, we do. Have, we have the space. Let's go to tackle one last thing, guys. Let's see how many of you watch all the way to the end of my videos. Because there's one other task that we can technically do in the town of Cole. So 
we're, we'll grab this right away. It is um, something that we need, and it was made reference to in one of the towns that we were at about how we needed this item. And its location kind of mentioned to us ever so slightly. That and being having played the game, we know it's there. The only reason we don't grab it right away is because we have a finite inventory space. So grabbing it while we're trying to accomplish and gather items throughout the world is probably not a good idea. Hence why we didn't get it. Those of you wondering, we're picking, I believe we're gonna be picking up the fairy flute. Uh, Cause I, we have a space. I don't see why why I pass up on it while we're in the area. And we don't, we don't have to walk all the way back. You know, and all of that hubba -bubba. So. Yay. Um, let me, uh, what is this? No, we've already done puff puff. Open her back. Mm, not what I was looking for. Ah, get out of the way. No, oh, really, dude. You need to. You 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 need to move, you goofy asshole. forget where this is. Ah! I don't think I'm in the right spot. I know it's in this goddamn town. I'm gonna find it. Uh, the memory of, of where things are is starting to leave me a little bit. talk to some more people. Clearly I'm screwing up pretty hard. Gigantic monster has a weakness for the sound of a flute. You will not have that the power to defeat the monster if you only fight it. What do you think about your opponent's weaknesses? So that was the guy who told us about the, the nasty dude. think here. Let's go talk to his son, because we know where his son is. And we were heading that way anyway. We'll finish the episode there, too. Clearly, I fucking turned around in my brain here of what we need to do. Fucker, get out of the way. Really? I'm, I'm tra Oh god, I'm trapped. Oh. I swear. I thought it was in that town, which uh, the fairy flute, but maybe my memory is just it's not helping. Anywho, yeah, we're gonna go back to the town with of magic keys here. Restock. And then clearly, I'm going to be buying that uh, really nice uh, piece of armor that they got. We're going to find his son and fucking talk to that asshole. He, he, he's there in the town. We didn't talk to him. He's um on the outer rim of the town 
like on the far west side. So you have to kind of walk all the way around the, old, the, the the town to get to talk to him. Whereas the key guy is is half of the way there, more than half the way to him. So not a big deal. It's just kind of annoying. Because I have a feeling we're going to have to go all the way back and then get the flute. Because he'll tell us where it is. Which is like, <sighs> really? Skellington. What? My girlfriend is waiting. Crap. This place looks like the place where we were going to meet. She's probably so pissed. <laughs> it sounds like she is. Thanks for telling me. To show my thanks, I'll tell you something good. Walk four paces south of the bath in Myra and search around. And search around. You should find a good item. Okay. I need to think up an excuse for her, Nana. Okay, so clearly we were in the right area. It wasn't the, the, the well in the middle of town. It was the little bath area. And that's where we need to do that. So, yay. We got to go all the way back, but at least we know what we're looking for. Crying out loud. Now we're 700 bucks short of the new armor, so we'll hold off on buying anything. And what we'll do now, and as annoying as it sounds... It's rest, because resting is our friend. And yeah, we're going to walk all the way back and get the goddamn thing we missed. Then we're going to come all the way back here, because we got to come all the way back here anyway. Oh, man, we never get, we're never, we just never get a break, do we? But these old games are very ruthless and punishing, and rightfully so. Because then we, you know, you, if you know exactly what to do, or let's say you've played this game many times and you remember exactly where to go every single time. This game would be very, very short. Uh, so I'm glad that it's not that, you know, simplistic. And, or rather, I'm glad I don't remember it super well. I remember where a handful of things are. A pretty good amount. But it's the order of execution because theoretically you can kind of go wherever you want and and there's nothing stopping you except the strength of your character and the items you need to turn in. So, again, you, you could technically have never even undertaken the first quest's goals and just grind the entire game until you're, you know, at least level 15 to 18 and then start tackling bosses and stuff and breeze your way through the game. There's so many ways to approach these older... this particular game... Which is a sign of a good and a bad thing, is that it, it hasn't aged that well. Um, I think it's due for remake. The original three, remake them real hardcore, you know, remake them and make them more than what they currently are. Uh, but jokes aside, because, you know, I can, anybody can sit here and bash an old game. This is the, this was the genre defining game because Final Fantasy came out, I believe, after this. 
by about a year or two. And then um, that was when the JRPG age just kind of took off to becoming the titan it was during the golden age of consoles, you know, between the Nintendo and our, people argue the PlayStation era. We went, without Dragon Dragon Warrior Dragon Quest, we would have never had any of it. And Final Fantasy 1. None of it would have probably ever existed. So, give them a big shout out, big thumbs up. So yeah, this episode's gonna go a little longer, and I'll probably stop once we get, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably end the episode once we get the stupid flute. Because um, once we get the flute, I gotta walk all the way back, gotta grind the rest of the gold for the next item, and all of that stuff. That way we're uh, for the for the armor, and that's gonna take a little while. We're almost there, but I mean, we still got some ways to go. We still got roughly 500 bucks to go because I want to prepare a little better for what's coming up. So I'd rather be ready than not ready. Somewhere the fuck in here. He said it was south of here. Where is it? I just don't trust some of the, you know. There it is. Fuck's sake. And fucker obtained the fairy flute. Alright. Yay. Um. Oh my god. What a fucking reeking of ass that is. Uh. Whew. Alright, let's keep moving because we still got more shit to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and head back to that other town. We're going to heal up get the magic armor and then when we come back we're going to be in a sense using our fairy flute but um it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward uh we've got a long trek kind of ahead of us uh in, in terms of us being able to use our flute and the fairy flute and creating more inventory space as a, as a result of that as well as you know preparing for um you know everything else just saying it's it's kind of a uh, you know it's a load of shit is really what it comes down to by the time you're done but we're going to be dealing with that golem quick fast and in a hurry coming up but we just got to be able to make our way there which is you know easier said than done but a, a long trek ahead of us so anyway thanks for stopping by guys like comment subscribe all that good stuff check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash for more live gaming action and we will see you guys next time